How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is the driving impressions video of the Lexus LX570. Um, we're just gonna drive around a little bit, take this Lexus to places where you would normally take a Lexus, see how it reacts, see how it drives in its normal, typical environments. And I also wanna show you guys and talk about how awesome this eight-speed transmission made it to this 5.7 liter V8 is compared to like that Tundra that I drove or this current generation of Tundra with the same 5.7 liter V8, but that only has a six speed transmission. So when you throw the vehicle into reverse, you have a nice big 360 camera, which is a very nice feature to have in a big vehicle. Also, you'll notice that when I put it back into drive, the mirrors move. When I put it into reverse, the mirrors shoot down, so you are able to see objects potentially below you or near you while you're reversing in addition to the 360 camera. So one of the first places you should drive your Lexus LX570 is a golf course. Why not, right? Your typical buyers of this vehicle, I mean, it could be anyone. It can be anyone. I'm, you know, 28, nine, whatever years old, I'm driving this vehicle around, but we're in a golf course setting, going through the roads, it's nice. The transmission is shifting well, coming up to a stop sign. It is not herky-jerky at all, going over a speed bump, Going over a speed bump, it's not bad. The only thing that I don't like about this trans, if it's kind of in between a gear, the transmission, if you're going to lower speed, nine times out of 10, it's very good. But you do get that one time where it's kind of holding on to a gear because it doesn't know if it should downshift or upshift yet. And it kind of just gives you a little jolt. It's nothing bad, but uh, it's, it's still something that I have noticed with this eight-speed transmission versus the Tundra's six-speed transmission. So now coming out of the country club, you may want to give it the beans, right? When you're about to turn onto a little highway up here, you may want to floor this V8 and see what it's got. Maybe you had a horrible day on the links. Maybe you're just pissed off. Or maybe you're excited and you shot, I don't know, under 80 for the first time and you're super happy. You wanna give it all it's got when you come out of that parking lot because you're happy. So it does definitely get up and go. And what I have enjoyed with this vehicle is even though that it's an eight speed transmission, when you floor it, the way it's geared is very, very good because it's not like going through the gears like crazy. It'll hold on to that gear until it's ready to shift. It's not hunting all over the place. I think having a V8 with this eight speed transmission does very well because you have the low end torque for it not to always be hunting gears. And we look at this little Forerunner TRD Pro up there towing that Jayco, squatting a little bit. Nice. So coming off of a stoplight, just going through the gears, holds it pretty well. And not stuttering. I mean, you, I mean, putting the pedal down a little bit, it wants to guess as to where it wants to be. Yeah, sure, bro. Come on over, man. Come on over, Forerunner. I got you, dog. But it cuts through as to where the gears want to be. And it actually, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Good Forerunner people, uh, and and it and it drives really well. So enough about the transmission. It drives good. All Toyotas with V8s or even V6s, if they put this same type of transmission into it, it would be a very good rig to have. And and Toyota has dialed this eight-speed transmission. I'm not sure why the Tacoma has a six-speed transmission issue where it always gear hunts, but this thing does it really well. So we are at the Destin Commons right now. And I will tell you that the turning radius of this truck is very, very good. So we will go into this parking lot real quick, try to find a spot. I'll probably fail because I am on video, but I will just pull into a spot real quick in between two cars and just show how this turning radius is. And here we go. Here's a spot. Boom. And <laughs> it yells at you. It'll show you, hey, you're about to hit some stuff, but then we just get to pull forward real quick. Parks perfectly fine. So if you're buying this thing for a mall, you are good to go. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. We can make it started for you. Hey, can I get a uh, venti strawberry 
acai refresher with light ice. Yeah, of course. Anything else for you? Uh, and I will do the uh, nitro cold brew venti with that uh, sweet cream stuff, the vanilla. So guys, in conclusion, the Lexus LX570 is a very extremely comfortable vehicle to drive, very powerful vehicle to drive, and a very smooth and quiet vehicle to drive. So as it's cruising 70 to 80 miles an hour, it's right there at 1500 to like 18.5, comfortable, quiet, and since it is an eight speed, if you put your pedal down just a little bit, it would just drop a couple gears, you'd be in the power band again, and the vehicle would get up and go. The only gripe and stuff that I had in here was just, it is dated because it is an older vehicle, and the whole center console stack, they just try to stuff way too much into there. The whole mouse pad thing is ginormous. It doesn't uh, function properly. Driving around, even though this vehicle isn't bumpy, just trying to navigate it, it's just way too sensitive. And I'm sure you can dig deep into the infotainment and adjust that, but it's just, it's so sensitive. You can't really select what you want to select, and it's honestly very annoying. But other than that, this is luxury in here. There is tons of soft touch. There is some other things that I wish it did have if you guys saw that video comparing it to my wife's RAV4 just briefly inside. What 35-ish thousand dollars gets you versus almost a hundred thousand dollars inside in the interior. But regardless, this vehicle, great to drive and it is going to be a bargain luxury vehicle in the future. Yes, Lexus and Toyotas do hold their value very, very well. But instead of, you know, $100,000 or something like that, buying a brand new one, maybe in five, six years, because you know these things will still be running, you know these things will still be good, they'll maybe be around $50,000, $60,000. And, and for this package at $50,000, $60,000, that is a steal. That is very good because it is awesome in here. So if you guys are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your support, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.